Wow. Okay, guys, welcome back. We got Mike's S4 today. We're doing an exhaust install. Mike picked up a brand new X pipe from ECS Tuning. We're gonna install it on his S4 because he finally got it back. Mike got into, or he had a little accident. They don't want to say it. Someone else hit his car, but he got it all fixed. It's been back, it's running, it's looking beautiful now. So we're gonna get the exhaust set up on his car. He did also install a uh, RS style grill on his front end with the blacked out front uh, rings, which does look awesome, by the way. This is the pipe over here. Mike will show us. There you go. Oh, Jesus. So this is actually an X. Isn't it not titanium? No, it's not titanium. <laughs> this is actually an X pipe. OEM exhaust is, is just runs two pipes underneath, so the X pipe should uh, change the sound a little bit, make it a lot louder. There's a muffler too in the middle. No, there's a muffler here? Uh huh. Not in this one, in the stuck one, my guy. <laughs> Chris, come on! I was wondering, I'm like, where's the muffler? I was like, how is the muffler behind you there? I'm like, what's going on? Like, there's no way to put a muffler in here. Okay, so we're gonna remove the center. Is it a, It's a resonator, right? Yeah. Center resonator, uh, sawzall, little choppy chop action, and hopefully fit it up. We might unplug the valves too. So we will unplug the valves. We're gonna unplug the valves. My S4 is the valves unplugged, so we know what that sounds like stock, and then we'll have mics with the X-Pipe and the valves unplugged to get a good comparison. So I'm excited, I love doing exhaust videos. Uh, exhaust just... You haven't heard the intake yet. No, we haven't heard the intake. Mike also has a turbo inlet pipe, which on another video, we're gonna install that on my car as well. This guy, so stay tuned for that. I'm pretty pumped, but I saw some I saw some sound clips that Mike sent and it looked phenomenal. It sounded like a, like a jet plane, dude. it was super loud. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, let's see what's underneath this bad boy. Damn, dude, there's a lot of room in here. A lot of room for activity. Jeez, a lot of room. This quick jack is awesome. Measure it out. That's gonna be a constant today. I'm gonna be going back and forth, back and forth. We gotta measure and then this cut it. Muffler? Yeah, it's huge. Uh -huh. So you, those look like two front resonators. Two front resonators, and then we have a center muffler, and then we have the two rear Sucat mufflers. The X pipes replacing just that center, center muffler. I bet it's not too fast, and the coffee almost came up. Are you just gonna size it up? Yep. Because I can't really take the uh, bracket off because uh -huh. I don't have enough. I, I don't have the right freaking. Holy fuck, it goes far. Yeah, right here and here. So you're just gonna. Are you gonna mark with a sharpie to cut first? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I need. Dude, I went to Harbor Freight yesterday. I walked in. I looked over. I'm like, I don't know what I'm trying to buy. And I left. <laughs> so, and today I'm like, oh, this is what I need. Um, I never I, remembered what I needed to. I'll yeah. give you the ones I have. Are like, you sure you don't have so, it? Joey, I'll probably need you here at least to hold so it. So I can mark it. And give me a marker. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. Um, more, we have some just, room. I'm more of just the tip hand guy. Oh, uh, these are out. The, fr the front's out. Yeah, All the way out. Mike. Oh. <laughs> You need to drive this thing a little bit. You still have salt. Okay, so what are we doing here? You holding the X pipe, and we're gonna we just put it next to the old one, so I can mark it, and then I can cut cut the bitch. All right, you're lined up. There. Okay, that's all I needed from you, my guy. All right, cool. You done with the gun right now? Oh um, yeah, I'm done with the gun. I'm gonna start cutting because that's what we do. It's going live. Live with the blades. I 
need to be careful not to damage anything else, you know? Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. One little push, and we are golden. You want me to hold it so it's a fall on you? Yeah. Are you, are you all the way through both sides? Uh, this side has a tiny bit holding it, but I actually don't mind it because I need to still unhook it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or, or Adriana. Yeah. Uh, the back, the right, the one on the right, very low. The, the last, the last uh, drawer. Yeah. On the right, on the right, on the right, on the right. Wh which one is right, Adriana? This one's right. Yeah. This and and right. there is another box next to it, the big box. <laughs> which, which side do are you want? recording this? Yeah. Are, are you, you seeing? Are you Adriana, <laughs> yeah. the second box, the one from the right. You said a One more. There you go. Okay, so I was right. No, Diana, this drawer. This drawer. Okay, you said yes. What do you want? I need, I need a jack. Whichever you find, uh, get in. Thanks, love. It's okay, boys. We just had a little argument. Second, it happens. One, two, three. That's the third. Floor. Third. Thir third. Well, no one said we were good at counting on this channel. Holy shit, dude, it's off. There it is. Now I need to finesse it out because. Do you think you can get it out without moving the, the tunnel brace? It's stuck somewhere. It's, it's, it's caught up in here. Oh, you might be able to get it out without actually taking out the brace. Now I know how people that work on the cars, on cameras, feel about the guys that are underneath the car just holding the fucking camera, not helping for shit. <laughs> I'm like, there's two of us, but you know, I can only work so much. <laughs> I think you're doing a great job. <laughs> I like jammed it in. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Hmm. She's free. Look at that. Yeah, I have no nothing to do. Oh Jesus. I need my guy. I still need to clean it up. What are you gonna? Oh, you're gonna clean up the. Yeah. All right, Mike's Mike just sawed it off. Took a little bit of effort, but we finally got it off, boys. Mike actually finally got it off. But. Here we go. There she is. Center, center muffler. Hey, Mike. Yes. No, not like that. No, I'm not that excited. Okay. Well, Mike's found a way. Joey brought his S6 here today. Put the lowering unlinks on. Is that what they're called, Joe? Uh, yeah, they're the height sensor links. Height sensor. So this allows Joey to ride uh, lower with the factory air ride setup, which is kind of cool. Or drive it. Lowered, right? Yeah, and, not, and it so, won't throw a coat or anything. No, because uh, you can do a little bit through VACOM and then um, before it starts throwing errors, and then it's essentially just like fix the computer. Can I have my X-Pipe back? You want your X-Pipe? I do, kind of. Okay. That's it, ready, huh? Is this, is this what we're doing today? Hopefully, you, uh, what do you use it? Is it cut twice, measure once? I hope not. We'll see if Mike's cutting. 
putting job was on point today. If anything, it's Joey's measurement because he was the one putting the pipe next to each other. That's true. It's not on me. So I just made a straight line. When, when else, else fails, shift the blame to Joey, apparently. I am ready. I just need to move some shit, okay? Okay. I don't know if that's the proper I orientation. No Is that the... No. No? Flip it? No, it's good. That's good? I don't know, man. It looks... It looks pretty good. It, the cut looks good. I mean, Joey measured, so it doesn't. Yeah. Look. Right, Joe? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure, of course. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I take the blame. <laughs> Is it best? Yes, sir. This one. This way. How much? Uh, how much did the X pipe cost, Mike? Three hundred. Three hundred dollars? Yeah. That ain't bad. No. It's a cheap mount to get some sound out of it, so hopefully it does sound better. Oh, I mean, considering like a full system is <coughs> thousands of dollars for these cars. Three. You know, three three thousand dollars for a, a, like a switch path exhaust. Three hundred dollars is not bad. Okay. You're not doing it right if you don't swear under the car, you know what I mean? This needs to be here. This one needs to be here. Are we doing one or two agadagas? Doing what? I didn't see what you, I didn't hear what you said. Uh, are we doing one or two agadagas? I still have no idea what Are we doing one or two agadagas? Two agadagas. Two agadagas? That was three. That was three. Do I need to shave this bolt off? Oh, um, right now, I don't think this should be an issue because you're stock height. Yeah, but who's gonna do it? I'm gonna be putting it in air. You? Well, you're putting it in air. Yeah. Um, hold on. Slow, you like low key, like slid that in. Who's gonna do it while I'm doing the air? Who's gonna do it while I'm doing the air? He knows. Okay, whatever, we're done. So, like, <laughs> next month, we'll shave them down, right? Possibly. Just one, two agadagas. One, two. They look nice and tight. Good and tight. We are going to unplug the valves on Mike's exhaust. I forgot what we're doing. We're going to unplug the valves. Mike's got the X pipe all bolted up, so we're going to unplug the valves in his rear muffler, so it's going to open all the time, just how my car is. Um, so once we unplug that, tighten everything up, we're going to start up, see how it sounds. I'm pretty excited. Um, I've only heard one other B9 S4 with a custom exhaust and that was Brock's and he had the catless downpipe on there and it sounded awesome. So I know Brock's exhaust sounded awesome. These cars, the engines sound really good. So I'm curious to see what the difference with the stock downpipe and just the mid muffler delete would sound like. Cool. We'll unplug the rear mufflers. I'll show you guys just in a second. I did do a whole separate video on unplugging the rear mufflers. So if you guys haven't seen it, I'll leave the link somewhere around here. Uh, you guys can go check it out. Cool. But simply it's just one little plastic clip that you just poke those gray tab from underneath, pull the clip out, and then the mufflers uh, remain unplugged and the butterfly valve in the rear muffler remains open instead of closed because under certain RPMs, the muffler is always closed, no matter what, even in dynamic mode. So when you unplug them, the butterfly valve stays open and you get that full sound uh, throughout the entire rev range and no matter how fast you're going, it always uh, sounds good and stays open. So that's what I have in my car. I love it the way it is. So uh, we'll unplug mics and we'll get to it. Just one side? No, no, on both of them. They, there's, there's two plugs. One okay. of each per muffler. One is here. I just don't know where. Yeah. The, how do, you, where do you use the clip? There's a, 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 a gray tab piece. Okay, then pull it. It's done. Supposedly. <laughs> Every time it, Mike would go underneath, there, his head was hitting the, the trunk sensor, kept oh. popping it up like that. It was hilarious. It's so all, uh, all zip tied up and ready to go. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the shit out under, from underneath the car so I can drop it. Okay, just a little little cleanup time and then we'll uh, we'll start her up. Reaction before reactions. Because you know that my car sounds like with the valves unplugged. Yeah, but th but this is like nothing. But you still you still have the, the front resonators and the rear mufflers, which are disconnected now. It's got to be louder, but... I wonder how much... How much loud? Your startups are going to be way louder. I'm going to start it on, on the rack. Start on the rack? Yeah, because... Uh... I want to see if there's any leaks or anything okay. like that. Well, that's what we're working on a sweat, dude. Like, I'm excited. Yeah, not the sweat. It's just like, don't, don't, don't want to get the interior the sweat, dirty. The sweat is really hard to keep clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really hard. Oh, I believe it. Here we go. First startup. Yeah. And then coming back, it'll be cheaper.
Did you did you start it in dynamic mode? It's always in dynamic mode. Sometimes it pops when you start in dynamic mode. Like you saw, I heard like a little burbles. When I when I first unplugged the valves, Mike, it took it like five minutes, then driving around to open them up, and then it stays open. So, so you might have to get it open first. No, I know what you're saying. You know what I mean? What's the body of a DCC warning? Oh yeah. Because the car is off the ground. Oh, the car's off the ground. Yeah, oh, it's okay. reading that the gotcha. suspension way. Dude, the suede makes me so jealous. No, it doesn't. You got the red. I like the red, but the suede would be my the next red. next option. You know, the red. I like. I the like red. the suede, but. The red. You gonna give a little rev ski? Ooh. A lot. A lot more. Mike, it sounds good, man. And I think the valves are still closed, too. I think so. Because, like... Because it's, it's cold? Yeah, because it's cold. And then you have to drive it to get the valves open, and then they'll stay open. Otherwise, they're not going to... They're not open right now. Right? <laughs> We're going to get the cars out on the way. Get all the cars out. So Mike can take the car out. We're going to take it for a little quick spin. But wow, initial startup impressions, I think it... I think it sounded great. It's it's weird. These cars have, like, a Supra GTR-esque, like, like V6 like, turbo sound to them. Like the new Supra, like, low end, and then... You heard it? Mm-hmm. I, th I think it sounds good. Mike thinks it sounds like shit. We'll see. But it's Mike, though. If that means anything. I don't want it obnoxious. No, it's not going to be no, obnoxious. No, you've had a GTI before. The GTI, GTI is obnoxious, bro. Yeah. It was. It was it's, obnoxious. This one is not that bad. Yeah. It's drone. I hate it. There's still a lot of drone. You still have the front resonators, man. You're going to have zero drone, I promise you. <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 the valves are definitely closed because it doesn't sound loud at all. So essentially that's like what mine's yeah. got. Because they, you basically have Joey set up. Except not an X-Pipe. <laughs> plug them back Gosh. in. That's that's the... Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just sneezing a lot. When I sneeze, I don't it's sneeze just once. I sneeze like 20 times. Yeah. But you know time. he will. Mike always signs it. Mike never not signs Does he have it? No <laughs> doubt there. No doubt. It's not not gonna sign No doubt. You ready to go, man? I think it sounds a lot, a lot louder. I hope so. <sighs> Mike, I'm gonna I'm put the booty warmers on, bro. What, in the rear? Yeah. You don't have booty warmers no, in the I rear. Uh, no, It's another thing. Uh -oh. oh, that's sad. Dude, it's already a lot louder. Put those on. Oh, yeah. Safety, my guy. <laughs> no, it's it's annoying the sound. <laughs> oh, I get yeah, definitely. Do you have enough room back there? Yep. How about you, Chris? Oh yeah. I have plenty actually. Oh my god, the drone. Mm, why did I do this? To Dude, and the pipe is fresh too, so. It has a more bassy uh, downshifts. Yeah, though. the downshifts are way deeper. I'll be curious to see what it sounds like outside of the car, though. Ooh! Ooh, <laughs> yes! That sounds good. Yeah. I'm still not pushing it because it's really cold. Dude, it sounds like a GTR. And I'm not pushing it. I'm only doing like quarter of a throttle <laughs> or half a throttle. Ooh! Those pops are definitely louder. Sometimes since in the, in the S, it pops even more than in manual for some reason. Yeah. If you okay, so if you, you did you put it in drive and then put it to manual mode, I feel like it shifts differently than if you have it in sport and then put it to manual. Mode. Very good. 
So, I mean, it sounds it sounds good, dude. I like the tone. It really just kind of enhances it, but not too obnoxiously, you know? All right. See you guys. It wasn't so cold. Okay. That is way louder outside than it's inside the cabin. That is way louder. You can smell the fresh pipes. It's got that, that metallic-y uh, chemical smell to it, but it, it sounds good, guys. For $300, I mean, it's hard to beat the price point and the sound that you get from this little setup right here. It's, it sounds good. Mike's coming back. We got our flyby here. Holy shit, boys! Wow. All right. I'm, I mean, it's it's weird. These exhaust notes. It's it's almost like a GTR super hybrid. I know I say I've been saying it a lot, but it's like these V6 single turbos. They sound very unique. It sounds great. And just moving the mid muffler. Wow, is it louder? Dude, it sounds so much louder outside. Like you have to hear the way it sounds. Like I can hear you all the way on the other right, corner. Out, I'll drive. It's it sounds so good. <laughs> oh, it smells like tires. Yeah. <laughs> Oof, it that sounds, was breaking. It sounds, dude. It, it like when you when you downshifted on that corner, dude. It sounded so good. I'm not even kidding. It it sounds awesome. Send it, Joey. Bro, dude, wow. what? I was not expecting that. Dude, I told you, it's so much louder. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what? We can only hear that. Nobody, like in the video, you won't be able dude, to Dude, I'm hear. telling you, if they, like, you can pick it up. I'll, I'll play with the volume, but like, yeah. oh my God, dude. It, it's, it sounds so good. I can't even imagine how a full system would sound, but dude, $300, not bad. Not bad. Not bad, boys. Dude, dude. Yeah, it sounds good. You heard this like echo? Yeah, it like echo. bounces dude, up. Yeah, doesn't it, dude? I'm telling you, it sounds like a, like almost GTR is. Yeah. In a way, Joey sounded that. Just... Dude, the intake sound too. <laughs> yes, yes, dude. Let's go. Ooh, dude. Let's get some revs, man. It, it definitely Joey, opens. how do you like it? Because it's like the first time you drove it. Yeah, it is the first time. It's nice. <laughs> dude. You're it's, right. Pulls like my car, way lighter than my car, so it's just fun. Dude, it sounds, yeah, let's get back inside. Yeah, it sounds great though. Go ahead. I'm a, hey, mind if I hop up front? Go ahead. Jesus! No. <laughs> we really got this thing warm. Yeah. Yeah, you smell the tires too. When you load up the pipe, the intake pipe, it just makes yeah. it way louder. The amount of oomph, yeah. hops and bangs. Oh. Well, back to your neighbor's hating you. Well, yeah. I this is me, and I approve this message. Yeah. This is Mike. This message is approved by Mike. <laughs> The 
fumes. <laughs> well, we're for sure getting exhaust on the S4. For $300, Mike, I think that was a yeah. good deal. Yeah. Eight out of eight, would you rate it? Ah, uh, it's only five out of seven. Five out of seven. <laughs> Five out of seven. I'd give it. Probably. I'll give it. Five out of seven. I mean, doesn't have enough pops. Not enough pops. It's too mute. It's too muted. It 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 sounds really good for what you paid for it. Yes. And how easy it was to install. I mean, you had this thing done in like 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 25 minutes, and the thing was already off and installed. But for not having a full system, I think if you're on a tight budget and you want to get more out of your car. Unplug the valves and put on the X pipe, man, and it's it's looking real good, really nice. It's nice, I like. Very nice, very nice. But guys, we got the inlet to do. What else we gotta do? We still have to do the zero to sixties with the Unitronic Stage One tunes. We're gonna have Mike's car run some uh, zero to sixties as well as my car. Mike has different tire setup. He's on stock suspension. I'm lowered a little bit. He's also got a different intake setup. Uh, but we're both running the Unitronic Stage One tunes, so it should be interesting to see how different the times are, if they're actually that much different at all. Um, he also does not have an intercooler too, so it might make a little bit of a difference. Um, so we'll run that soon. We're gonna, we gotta get the inlet pipe installed and we need to get an exhaust for our S4. I don't know guys, I've been looking over exhaust for a while, but we gotta get this thing figured out. We need to get an exhaust. So I will be on the hunt for an exhaust very soon here. That's gonna conclude today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit the like button guys, Smash that like button. Helps so much with the algorithm. Um, it definitely helps out the videos, and I do appreciate it, guys. Yeah, these S4s are coming along so well. I'm super pumped. We still have to rematch uh, Joey's S6 against your S4. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, yes. Yeah, that'll be more fun for me this time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joey obviously got a stage one tune on his S6. Mike's got the stage one tune in the S4. We're going to pit them again and see how much different they are. I think from rollers, man, the S6 is gonna pull, pull on the S4. It's yeah. got. That's where it shines. That's where it shines, man. But from a dig, I think it's gonna be really close, like on lower speeds, just because of the weight difference. But up top, man, that the S6 yeah. got so much pulling power. It's, it's almost 100 horsepower difference. Yeah, almost 100 horsepower. It's a pulls like a freight train too. So, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you've made it this far. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one. Into that. Cheers. Cheers. Go dummy, go beast. I go